Baby, you don't even know how to push a stroller. Old. He don't know how to push a stroller. Did you see that shit? I did not know. He don't know. Right. It was yeah. hilarious. He was he like, was that nigga definitely. holding his baby like a mini basketball. Like, <laughs> nah, this first child. Took a picture with his baby <laughs> like this. Right, got right. like six kids. Hey, man, sit down. Hold the baby. Ah! <laughs> 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 that ice cold. He ain't ever had ice. Allie. Yeah, Allie. Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm going to give you a call. Yeah, Allie, they got a 20-year-old Don't shake your head. That's what, hey, that's the first one after the beef over. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Louisiana. Beef, you know y'all always in the building. Black King KP, I see you, brother. Right on, man. Yo, it's on you, D-Lay. Ain't, ain't, ain't no more shouts out. I'm finna go to Wyke. I got to go to Wyke. Remote and already spouted out the gentleman with the with the blue jean uh, jacket on, and he's upset. Mm -hmm. So with that said, <laughs> we going in. We hey, man. Hey, man. Thank y'all for having me, brothers. Hey, man. Thank y'all for Listen, I don't know if, if y'all touch, touching. If you don't church Bam. service. Right. Hey, man, bam. Clubhouse. Man, thank y'all for having me again. <laughs> Two sound like Clubhouse. Yeah. Hey, man, thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me, man. He just got brought up to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank y'all for bringing me up. You, you a moderator, goddamn it, right? You, you are a moderator. Right 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 right. I just be poking this room. Like, I'm trying to see who profile I can look at. Right man, quick. listen. That's where you go look at other people's Instagram. Clubhouse going crazy. Yeah, I fuck with it. I just can't lurk. I'm no lurking, lurking, bro. There's no lurk. They let yeah, you know. Yeah, man. So I can't. I can't be in rooms with certain titles, bro. bro I, yeah. hey, I did a, a funny ass room the other night, man. Roy Wood Jr., bro. That okay. nigga had uh, New Jack City the musical auditions. Boy. <laughs> My Lord and Savior. That shit was so funny. I got That's the part, funny, but that shit. It was the <laughs> few thousand. For? Oh, Pookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was your song? What uh, you <laughs> here we go. Give me some crack, please. I'm in the building, they're gonna kill me. Scotty, please. Scotty, please. Scotty, please. Scotty, As he's singing to a belt camera phone. <laughs> that belt wasn't shit. That I was, was like, he gonna die. That nigga was singing to a droid. Niggas don't wear belts like drawer. this in the 80s. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, they trying to God. get my man killed. <laughs> This nigga had his big ass belt buckle in the crack oh. house. What is happening? <laughs> Clubhouse is fun though. It's Shit. Like, it's like it's like the hallway. It's it's the hallway. The hallway. The popping hallway. The popping hallway. It's, you know what? The hallway. It is a school Study hall. type it's environment. You got your book. Hey, you heard about the niggas that be robbing pages? What you mean? Check they this out. They taking over. They taking Bro, over. Bro, check this out. So say you get somebody in your joint and you really don't know them, you make them a moderator, right? They will let everybody know what joint they in. Make all of them a moderator. Push everybody down every time they try to come up and just be like, "This is our page right now. We you got we charging like people that got big pages and shit like Twenty One Savage Game and all them. They be jacking pages. You niggas have page. monetized the jack move. Nigga was like, "You got to pay us to get your page back. I mean, get your uh your room back." Bro, scamming <laughs> is an <laughs> art, bro. Like <laughs> scamming is a part of your spirit. If scamming you, is a part of the spirit. If you scammed when the streets was open, you gonna scam when the streets are. You gotta come on, figure man. out. Pimpin ain't dead. It just moved to the web. It's PPE. That's all. Pimp said. P -P -E. Scamming is in your soul. It is. It's deep, really rooted in your soul. Deeply rooted. It's in your blood. It stream. comes from Africa. Got to be. If you want to get scamming out your system, you got to take burdock for 17 weeks. Burdock? Mm. <laughs> 17? Burdock with a little sea moss. Either that or jail. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> with a little Seamus. That That's funny as hell. 17 weeks. Seamus gets rid of scam and is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's that commercial going to get rid of everything. Seamus that is going to get rid of everything for sure. More than culture is the brand. This is the podcast. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod. It's the show, Tyler Chronicles. More than culture is the brand. This is the more than culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan, I made it, goddamn it. 2020, yes, bitch. Sir, you 2020, did. My 2021, we in there, bitch. Goddamn, what's up, fat yeah, niggas go. made it? Happy Gru Year. Happy Gru Year. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey bro, these blessed fuck hats is going crazy. Them, them hats are amazing. Thank you, brother. You know, oh, them hats, I'm not even a hat wearer like that. But I. Because my my hair is, is impeccable. Yeah, I see what you're doing now. <laughs> it is you great. should not wear hats, brother. So I don't. I don't <laughs> but I will rock the shit. I, I that is amazing. It. That shit hard. I saw him when you pulled him out the box. I said, "Them motherfuckers are." And you pulled yeah. him. You know, your presentation was amazing. Thank you. Did, <laughs> when he pulled him out the box, <laughs> he did. He knew what he was doing. He put. It's almost like the McRib. Like he. <laughs> the McRib. He was like, "Oh shit, the McRib is back." McRib style. I gotta go get that. Yes, it was a McRib style. It was the McRib unboxing. It was what it was. Oh, but early, for our for our guest, first guest oh, of 2021. 20, yes, indeed. This is my brother right here, man. We were on tour with Bill Bellamy together, um, the Ladies Not Out tour. Uh, this brother right here has gone on to be one of the key players on the all deaf digital platform. Uh, he has his own channel is going crazy. If you if you know what he what he if you don't know, take it in. If you don't get a haircut and say take it in, take it in. You have don't you don't got no smartphone. This is my brother right here, all the way from motherfucking Louisiana. That's right. Hey. Let's go. Motherfucker delay in the yeah. building. We got delay in this. I call him DD. Y'all call him delay. That felt good. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Welcome to Atlanta, man. Hey, I'm glad to be here. Let me tell you something. It's your second time on the culture because y'all came. I got to get some shit off my chest. All right, so let's go. Going to, I, don't, I don't do New Year's resolutions, but I'm vowing that I'm not taking no shit from this one particular comedian this year. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Off the I need y'all to right make this announcement. Get to it. Right now, more than culture. I'm locked in. A lot of y'all know uh, <laughs> I'm always compared to a particular comedian, um, appearance-wise, comedy style, and I don't look mm. at it as a slight. Yeah. Uh, I think the brother's very talented, Tommy Davidson. Mm -hmm. mm. Tommy Davidson. Mm -hmm. to Tommy Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing this. Now here's the deal. Ronnie knows some of this, but I'm going to unleash it right now. Oh, what shit. better place to unleash this shit? Ain't no Lord better. Coach. Let's rock. Because if it goes down like this in 2021, God damn it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come unhinged. I'm going to do some white shit. I'm going to come unhinged. <laughs> no, 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 no. Now, let me give y'all the back story. Um, I'm in Inglewood, California at the Savoy. Mm. And I'm doing a comedy show. Out, Did you catch an Uber? Because it's about forty nine dollars <laughs> or seventy two. Yeah, from, where I'm from, from, from the valley, yeah. from, from Calabasas. Yeah, seventy two. Yeah, yeah. So shout out, Spike. I said, um, I'm gonna, I do the show. Melanie Camacho booked me, but I know that I can't remember who's on the show. But I know that uh, Tommy Davidson is headlining, mm. and I'm doing. The, I'm doing. I'm at this point where I'm just hustling. I'm just trying to get my face on the, on the scene out there. Right, right. So I do the spot and I kill at the Savoy. I kill. I coming off stage when I'm coming off stage. Tommy Davidson sees me, he's walking towards me, I'm walking towards him, and I don't know that this nigga is really Varnell Hill. <laughs> 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 this nigga is really, if you watch the episode of Martin, we, did you miss me? <laughs> boy, your boy, ain't boy, him, he's all, that is who he oh is. My God. I thought it was just a character, that is who he is. So I'm walking oh, off the stage. He's walking towards me. As we're walking towards each other, a fan is coming in between us to greet, to say, hey, Tommy, oh, my God. So as he's saying, oh, my God, Tommy, Tommy, he hits it with this. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> That's a boy in Inglewood? In Inglewood. Where the chicken wings be now, out? On chicken the wings thing? out on display, just out on your table when you walk in. Chicken on your goddamn table when you walk in. Like mints. There. Like mints. <laughs> <laughs> you like peanuts and shit. You got... Wait, six piece. She said, he says to me, he says, bro, you are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? I was like, is he serious? Like, this nigga's, is he really serious? So I was like, okay, if I can just go with it. I was like, I'm delay. Delay? Bro, I've heard that name somewhere before. <laughs> Man. Let me tell you something, man. I don't know. What, listen, you're set tonight, man. Cooked like baked clams. Bro, you're on fire. <laughs> he's, 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 he's pouring it on. Oh, come on. He's pour, so I Heavy said, sauce. He said, but man, I got, I got What do I know your name from? I said, actually, you know me from a promoter, Kenny Hill. 
Kenny Hill was talking about Booker. Kenny Hill? I know him. Bro, give me your phone. Call him. All right, cool. I pull up my phone. I get the phone out. Bam. He gets my face. Give me your phone, bro. Voicemail. Hey, Kenny. Hey, man. I'm here with Delay, man. He said that you want to do a tour with us together, man. Hey, man, hook it up. Ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. <laughs> hey, man, call me. All right. I'm like, wow. This is... But at this point, I'm buying it. I'm like. You are like, are you, I'm, are I'm you like, floating a little bit? I'm floating a little bit. I'm like, this, like, this, 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 so this is your idol. Like, this is somebody you I'll look I fuck up with to. this dude. Yeah, this is, this is about to be a good little move. Yes, Real shit. All right, cool. Next day, I get a phone call from Kenny Hill. Mm. I answer the phone. Kenny Hill is laughing. As soon as I answer, <laughs> he is motherfucking giggling. <laughs> Delay. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Hey, man, I just, I, I heard you talk to Tommy last night, man. <laughs> Tommy's crazy. I said, yeah, man. He was just talking about it, and I was like, man, I got a perfect idea. We can call it a father-son tour, and we can take this thing, and we can go overseas. And he said, stop, man. Stop. <laughs> stop it, man. Man, Tommy, Tommy doesn't want to work with you. <laughs> he was just doing the Hollywood thing. I mean, you know, I said, no, I don't know. He said, my set cooked like baked clams. I was on fire. He wanted to work with me. Yeah. He said, man, no, bro. It, 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 it didn't happen. He, he doesn't <laughs> want to do it. I said, okay, cool, forget it. <laughs> Cut to, I'm at the Laugh Factory. Just finished this hot set. At the Laugh Factory. Baked clam. Hot. Cooking like baked motherfucking clam. Come on. <laughs> you know how it is when you come out, Tyler, when you walk outside, when you first walk out, you know, after the set and everybody's outside, I walk out and, you know, people giving you your love. I look up. I see Tommy. Tommy see me. He was like, bro. <laughs> yeah. What's your name? <laughs> you were on fire. Your set Cooked like, I said, baked clams. <laughs> baked clams. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he said, man, wow. <laughs> I said, let me give him a minute, because maybe he'll, he'll stop and be like, oh, shit, delay. So I was, I'm looking, I was like, oh, he, he don't, the dude don't know who I am again. <laughs> he was like, hey, bro, man, listen, I'm looking forward to working with you, bro. Love watching young guns like yourself, bro. What's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> I said, delay. Got you, bro. See you again. Walks Look off. Up. All right, cool. I'm feeling a certain type of way now. I'm At like, this point. is he is he bullshitting me or or or, or he been doing a lot of dope and he can't remember a lot of shit? <laughs> B. A little bit about I think B. A B. <laughs> I think B. I think B. I'm B. just gonna assume B. I'm gonna let him slide. We're at Bill <laughs> Bellamy's 50th birthday party. So this God. is recent. It is fucking star studded. DJ Kid Capri on. on the ones and goddamn twos. Right. Magic Jump. Everybody in this bitch. Mm. I was mm. not invited. Do it. Bill didn't, he didn't get he, you. Didn't, nah, he didn't, <laughs> didn't get you. He, 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 he saw it on the ground. He, 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 he hit you with the void no shit. You didn't get your invite? <laughs> <laughs> I sent you your invite. When are you going to be in L.A.? No time soon. Damn. If you're in L.A., you would come to my birthday party. <laughs> How about a brother come out and maybe be on your show? <laughs> All right. Man, uh, when's it, uh, are you going to be in Hollywood anytime soon? Nah, nah. Damn. <laughs> you see that? If you were in Hollywood sometime soon, you would be on my show. For real? For real. Come on, man. Come you, on. You're a real brother, man. I am real. Oh, man. Hip, gotta get out of here, man. That's who this nigga. So, we having a good time. <laughs> Bill's wife says, Delay, hey, come over for a second. I want to introduce you to Tommy Davis. Oh, no. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I already, as she's, I'm saying, I already know him. She's like pulling me. Towards him. So I was like, oh no, I already know him. Tommy, delay. He looks, he's talking to somebody. He's like, he, look, he leans into uh, Bill's wife. He said, what, who? And I looked at him, I was like, when you make eye contact, you go, what's your name, bro? <laughs> oh. I said, nah. nah Wait a minute. Hold on. You playing me now. <laughs> you ain't did that much dope. Well, you don't know who I am again. Come on, man. So he says, man, my bad, bro. I'm sorry. Did we, have we met before? I said, yeah, like two or three times. Like this week? Yeah, we met like a few times. He <laughs> said, man, bro, I'm sorry, man. My apologies, man. We're having a good time tonight, man. But I'm looking forward to working with you. <laughs> now. We just did two shows together. Yeah. <laughs> at this point, I'm kind of cool on him. I'm like, 
I'll chalk it up. I'm not tripping on it. It is what it is. Whatever. I get booked. Me, Earthquake, Tommy Davidson. Only three people on the bill. That's it. We're in Minnesota at, the, I think, the State Theater. Mm. And I said, I'm talking to that nigga this show. <laughs> I got to yeah. talk to him. Come on. We got to have a conversation. Right. At this point. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see. How do you not? Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Promoter calls me. He said, hey, D, the, uh, the, the car is going to come down and get you guys at like 630. Uh, I think Tommy Davis is going to be riding with you. You know Tommy, right? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Do I? <laughs> trigger at this I said, ah. Uh, <laughs> That's a question. Trigger now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've heard of him. Because I don't want to throw myself out there saying I know the nigga, and this we get down there, he pulled right. his shit. Again. <laughs> All right, man. Come down around 6.15. I get down there at 6.15. I'm in the lobby waiting. Promoter comes, introduces himself. Bing! Elevator opens up. <clears throat> opens up. It's Tommy and his wife. He get off that motherfucker. He's so varnell. Oh, he was just missing the yellow suit. <laughs> <laughs> he he was just missing the yellow suit. He walked out. He was like, "Hey, Johnny, bro, long time, long time. You know my wife, right? Yeah, cool." <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Uh, funny old life. How you doing?" He said, "I'm sorry, bro." Have we met? Yeah. Four times. <laughs> Four times. Man, sorry, man. Hey, man, looking forward to seeing you set tonight. All right, cool. So I go on stage, and I said, this is intentional now. Mm -hmm. I won't, you're going to know me now. Come on. I'm going to put some shit on this goddamn stage. You're going to remember. Right. Whistle on that I'm shit. I'm hosting. <laughs> you heard that motherfucker? That's how she is. Well. I put a whistle on this show, bitch. <laughs> I'm on stage, and I'm giving him the business. Come on. Bam, bring it up. Hey man, come, and as, I, as I'm performing, through my peripheral, I see him in the corner. He's just standing in the corner, just watching like, oh my God. Like, he's looking like he's never seen it before, right? He's never seen that act before, but he's just, he's looking like, so I was like, all right, y'all, come ready, come, uh, come to the stage, man. You see him on Living Color, hilarious. He's a legend again. Give it up for Tommy Davidson. He's still on his Hollywood shit. Yes, sir. This nigga comes out, he was like, to the crowd, Shook my hand, bro. You are on fire. <laughs> You're set, cook like big clams. We'll talk. How y'all doing, everybody? Uh, Does this shit? Comes off stage. Earthquake. I said earthquake. I'm gonna do like another five. He's like, oh, young nigga, don't, go do your thing. So I, he, Tommy comes off stage. Has a great set. I go back on. I do like another five. He's standing on the side of the stage, just watching, right? And I'm doing the the the, the ratchet chick chewing the gum. I'm doing. Mm, mm. Mm. And I see him just looking, and I'm just sitting in the character. I'm just sitting there. I come off stage, introduce Earthquake. He said, "Bro, <laughs> I will never forget you again." <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will never forget you again. I was like, "Man, thank you, man. I mean, I appreciate it. Cool." The last we at the end at the end of the <laughs> night, we're all in the hotel lobby. Security just walked us over, and everybody's saying goodbye. And Tommy walks up to me. He said, "Hey, bro." <laughs> We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. And he turns and he walks and he gets into the elevator and he pushed the elevator and it was closed and he would say, <laughs> <laughs> So in 2021, if I see Tommy Davidson, God damn it, you better have your eyes together. Y'all uh, niggas are Rick Davidson. I gotta be print. Tommy Davidson right now. <laughs> Tommy. You are the second comedian that had beef with Tommy oh, Davidson. Oh, my God. That's Tommy be bad. tripping. Wow. Oh, Varnell wow. fucking Hill. Varnell. I thought he was about to hit us with a, did you miss me? But it was a real story. Yeah, yeah right. But, <laughs> no, he, he, look, I get it. You get, you've done a lot. We, we forget sometimes. But, like, it's certain shit. You, I'm not going to forget Ronnie Jordan. Period. I'm just Thank not going to forget Tyler. I'm, I'm, I seen you. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> if I if, forget a nigga name though in a minute, but like, you're not gonna be like, I don't know you. I ain't never seen you oh, in yeah, my yeah. life. No, no, no. Right. But I think it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of the story we don't know about it because <laughs> his history is checkered with the past of <laughs> demons. Dope. <laughs> you talking about dope? His history Boy, talking about dope. is checkered demons. with the uh, past like of checkered. demons. I don't know for sure, but right. You know. And the podcast is 
Did you miss? Did you miss? Did you and miss? That, me? I mean, you got damn. You can't. You don't. You don't even get to tell him that. And I, the first time I was like, you know what? When I get to Minnesota, we're gonna have a sit down. I'm gonna be like, hey, Tommy, man, you gotta come sit on the couch and do our podcast. Yeah. It'll be dope. Yada yada yada. But dog, like you don't. That's the thing. Like we see people. Like we know each other. Mm. You know what I mean? Send Billy to talk to Tommy. Ah, <laughs> they might that not would be come interesting there. right there. there. But I'm just saying, get. You you want to get them back, but they might end up in Tijuana somewhere. <laughs> oh, don't you? Yeah. They are gonna have some Man, adventures. Listen. Billy and Tommy them doing n- a movie. Uh, Billy and Delay. Fuck Billy and mm. Tommy. Them niggas had us. <laughs> listen, they had us come to do their podcast oh, in Los God. Angeles. Oh right? God, talk now, about this now. Shit. In the hood, man. Listen, I you know I hadn't been in Los Angeles in a long time, but as soon as I saw well, Ronnie, Ronnie sent the address, I was like, oh yeah, we ain't supposed to go. We ain't supposed to be over here. Mm-hmm. All right, know <laughs> the that. Uber driver was scared to see it. He's like, this y'all sure y'all want to go to this place? Did y'all hit the wrong button? Because we come, you know, we come from Hollywood. You know, we looking like tourists. He's like, yeah. Yeah, y'all sure y'all want to get on down there where I'm going? Yeah, right. man. Yeah. We gonna, it's our friends. We're gonna see our, our friends. We're going to our friends' <laughs> house. <laughs> all right, to, next, all right. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Any music y'all want? Y'all want to hear some last last songs? So last <laughs> y'all songs. got any? Y'all got any <laughs> final y'all requests? Play, y'all want to put on like, play like for you that? Y'all, y'all trying to double stop? up? Y'all trying to eat? <laughs> y'all trying to eat? <laughs> y'all, y'all want to stop by and get some, some food? Get in and out. I'm running down an empty stomach. He got the all score to my lifetime of memories. Go there, man. These brothers, great podcast, by the way. First and foremost, we get in there, man, and it is a Thousand and fourteen degrees. Oh yeah, in that goddamn garage. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm Man, fucking my little water. Oh. Yeah, it, y'all went to some and them shit niggas was day. in there just telling stories around me and Ronnie. Like we, I was like, are we on the podcast? <laughs> y'all said, bro, I know I'm. Bi- Did I die? <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead? Some. <laughs> <song? laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they see, see me. You don't see know me it. on this couch. We, we got be, shot in that car. We just see my big ass on this couch. Telling stories around <laughs> me, and t- me and Ryan sitting in the middle. These niggas are telling stories, laughing at it. Did you miss me? Like, All right, boom. That was that was funny. That was a good one. And they get back into another one. They're talking to us for a little bit, and they get back to another story. Da, 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 da. Like, okay. Did you miss me? Like, All right. <laughs> this is twice, four more times. This On that third, one, I think I said it's like the Uber will forty it all of my boy. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I spent I a lot of money it. with you, Diamond. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> I get it. I, I love comedy. I get it. I love comedy. <laughs> Just love tell comedy. me what's going on. All right, because it's 40 to get back, too. We got to get back. 80 to come. It's 80 to come fuck with y'all. It's 20 this white. garage. Hey, come on, man. You already know LA take 200 out your account. Like, you every going, time you got a couple to going back. I'm like, damn, yeah. Man, yeah. I apologize for all the temperature. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was very He's inconclusive. I went and I left and watched a <laughs> the couple episodes of their podcast just to make sure it wasn't just us. I was like, I was like, hold on, man. I said, okay. I, now, I, heard, I said, I heard, I said, I heard, I heard D. Lake a fight. So if Ronnie could just hold off Billy, I could find out. <laughs> <laughs> I got that cocaine strip though. I, I think out. Billy's strong. Because I ain't been here pissed. <laughs> I think Billy got high school championship strength. That nigga be the ring circles around. Billy is a high school quarterback in the movie. I don't give a fuck what yeah, you yeah, say. That nigga man, is, let me tell you something about Billy. Got seven passing yards and three hundred rush yards. That nigga got a slab in high school, but Billy is the most persuasive man in the world. That's fair. I've, I've seen, seen this it. nigga <laughs> in action on, on different occasions. Just draw one. I've seen this nigga get a rental car with no driver's license. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> you got to have a driver's license. You got yeah. to yeah. get a get car. car. I swear on my life. Uh. I, I swear on my life. Billy, this is how Billy book you. <laughs> hey, man, what you doing for the next three days? I was like, oh, sh- I could be open. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Them hoes been asking about you on them campuses. <laughs> <laughs> they have? Yeah, man. <laughs> HBCUs, they love it. Some delay, man. Take it in. They love it. Take it in. <laughs> <laughs> they love, it. They love it, it, man. Let's get out there and get that bag, man. Mm-hmm. I'm like, all right, cool. Now, mm-hmm. he don't tell you the number. Even if you try to ask. It's that bad. Hey, what's how much? Oh, man, shit. It depends on which night. We're going to be getting big. <laughs> Depending on which night. What kind of answer is that? Okay. I mean, that sounds like it's going to be a lot. <laughs> right. Think about it. When you somebody say, right. gee, depending on which night. Oh, yeah, I'm going to add up three nights. I make it 2,000. I make it, it 5,000 the next night. Mm-hmm. Depending on which night. So I'm like, all right, this yeah. is cool. It's going right. to add up. This is cool. <laughs> so we get there. 
We, we get to the airport. Like it don't seem bad. It don't sound bad. What you bad. doing for the next three days? Never but you never, never, what you do for the next three days? They go on adventures, though. They, they yeah, we out there. Oh, we out there. Oh, God. So, here, but uh, Billy uh, never tells you the itinerary. You don't know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going. Hey, man, don't even worry about it, man. You know you're safe. Right. You know you're safe. <laughs> oh, my God. Don't even worry about it. So this nigga says, he said, um, so here's the deal. We landed in Virginia. Man, we got to get on up to uh, 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 what the fuck was it? Uh, 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 I think it was DC. No, no, it was uh, Funny Bone is Virginia Beach in Richmond, right? right. Virginia Beach, Richmond. So I said, okay, cool. <clears throat> Man, we got to rent a car. I was like, okay, cool. I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with this part. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out of this shit. You rent, you rent a car. I'm just, I'm performing. Oh, yeah, just yeah, rent I'm a car. Just, just right. extra shit. <clears throat> so I remember Billy saying. My ID, my, my uh, driver's license is fucked up. <laughs> I remember him saying that. So like, but he said we about to go rent a car like he just renewed his shit. Right. <laughs> we got to go rent a car. Okay, Open cool. Ended. So we go in there. And I said, I'm going to watch this change shit. clothes or something? Did he go like into a trunk? Yeah, he, he always had change you know, clothes. Billy. Billy change clothes when he lands. All right. <laughs> Where you going? The baggage claim. <laughs> <laughs> to get my walking around yeah, outfit. Baggage, this is, this is, this is, I flew in this. Right. And I walk in this. So, <laughs> it's, it's making me itch. You look good, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> comedy. So we, uh, we, we're in the, uh, in the Hertz, and I said, I'm going to watch this shit. Because this, you ain't, you ain't get, you yeah, getting out of here. Yeah. You're getting your ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you said, Hertz, they don't fuck around. Ain't no way you're going to get through. It's a white woman. Mm-hmm. Oh. It hurts. This ain't motherfucking Fox rental car. In Virginia. This ain't Fox. You know, Fox is motherfucking two the fuck stars. Is Fox? Fox re- that's about to get Yeah, you, rent, you ain't rent no car from the motherfucking from the hot biscuit. This ain't this ain't the hot biscuit did you rent. The hot biscuit. So this is a credible rental spot. And Billy yes, walk in. He looked at he turned around, looked at me, he said, Man, you gotta keep talking. You gotta keep talking. <laughs> he walked up. He said, um, Good morning, ma'am. How are you doing? Uh, real quick, before we go any, into this. Um, before we go into this. <laughs> where's a good pet shop? Uh-huh. Are you a pet owner? She was like, yes, I am. I've got three dogs. He's like, oh, my God. So you know my, my, my pain. He said, listen. So he pulls out a fucking ID. It's not a driver's license. It's a goddamn identification. It says <laughs> identification on it. He says, oh. These damn dogs, here you go. I just want a mid-sized front car. These dogs are just just wrecking my brain. You know, I leave one with a sitter. What kind of dogs do you have? She was like, um, I have. Start peeing in the shit. I was like, uh-oh. Oh, no, she ain't look, she gonna look at it once. So Billy says, uh, Billy grabs the ID from her. He was like, wow, you know, people don't understand. <laughs> Dog owners and our love for our animals. Right. They don't understand. They don't understand. They're like family. Oh. Could you write down the address where I can get, you know, my dog groomed? This woman is still writing up all this shit. And th- so Billy says, he's talking to her, and she says, mid-size, or would you like an upgrade? He was like, I'm picking up the dog, so. <laughs> 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 upgrade. upgrade Man, this woman handed this motherfucker the paperwork and the keys. And as he still got the keys, he's still talking about the dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Gotta pretty keep much. Talking. You know, I've had my dogs. You know, the first one died. We had to put them down. It was sad. <laughs> um, but mainly, it's the love that I have for my dog. And to see another dog owner with the same love. Oh, my We should God. hang out some time with our dogs. <laughs> Today's a joy. Sure. Thank you. Listen, give me your number. Write your number down as well. <laughs> <laughs> he in there. <laughs> That's on crazy. my life, bro. <laughs> oh my God. We walked out that bitch. With, we had a van. He, they gave us a goddamn van. We were supposed to get a mid-sized vehicle. Right. We had a goddamn van. <laughs> we get in the van, and we're riding up the street. We get to the university. Now I'm like, okay, Billy, I need to know how much money I'm making. <laughs> <laughs> because now I got to know. Now, yeah. Now I got to know what's going on. He was like, man, hold on. You see, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. <laughs> see, the school <laughs> gave me a check for 15000 I got to bust it down. Um, fifteen thousand dollars. Oh my God. <laughs> we drove here, right? We drove here. <laughs> Billy tells me, "Hey man, who you bank with?" 
What? <laughs> 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 federal, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said everybody. Every <laughs> fucking body. You ain't going to miss me because you ain't going to miss <laughs> everybody. Open and even the local bank. But Hibernia, regional, all this shit. Everybody. Wachovia, nigga. Wachovia, Everybody. Nations. Everybody. He said, ah. Uh, I tell you what, this we gonna do. We not gonna be able to do it tonight, but tomorrow I'm gonna cash up you the money, and then you sign the check over to me. Still didn't say That's how cool. much. That's cool. Never said how much. <laughs> nigga said the money, the bag. But it sounds good because I'm getting some money tomorrow. Right, right. And this nigga just got a rental car with no ID. Right. Nigga, the <laughs> next day we running late to get to the school. We get to the school. We get straight to the show. I don't get time to ask for the money. Nope. At all. <laughs> no. Before you know it, nigga, we're off this tour. I'm back in LA. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> hey, below. Hey, below. Hey, below. below. Yeah. What up, boy? <laughs> this is what he hit me with. Didi, what's going on, man? Hey, God damn, I ain't paid you, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you no. No, you didn't. I ain't paid you. God As damn. if you forgot that. Like, you, like, 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 like a nigga could say, oh, shit, I ain't eat today. You know you didn't fucking eat today. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I flew in. Flew in, that but drove. that's my nigga, Bill O. Yeah, he Bill had a dope ass uh, roast. I, it was dope seeing uh, all the comedians come out, and he had a real production. He had like a production meeting. These, uh, yeah. you did a good job, excellent job hosting you a damn fool. Thank yeah. you, man. But Thank it was you. some highlights of that motherfucker. Man. Like Black Run got down in I that see. motherfucker. Did he really? Oh god. Black Run showed his black, black Run ass celebrity healed. from Dallas came in that motherfucker Snap. with. A little chip on his shoulder, like a like a Ready like a ball player. He yeah, came he in there like, oh, I wasn't invited. Guess what? Right on y'all ass. On y'all ass. What's up? Mm -hmm. So I called Billy the other day, man, because you know people do roast Billy a lot, talk shit, and say what they want to say. But I said, man, look, his hustle is so inspiring. Yes. Yeah. The man just putting out our specials on our specials, and as comedians, we all know how difficult that yeah. is. Right. And then, you know, doing producing his own stuff and doing it his own way, so salute him again on camera. But I, I just did a, he did a, lot of, a live uh, special on yep, YouTube, you and y'all y'all opened it up, right? Yep, yep, did, he, uh, did an episode of the podcast, uh -huh. um, and Billy did uh, his uh, hour special. So yeah, the brother has a work ethic. We're that definitely is, taking that idea. Is, um, yeah, yeah, that. absolutely, absolutely. Time that ready to go. That's yeah. for anybody. Okay, okay, I'm gonna tell him. Ah, uh, shoot. Hey y'all, my baby mama tripping, man. She's talking about some. If y'all don't subscribe, she gonna really have a baby. So y'all subscribe, man. I, I told, I told him. That's, that's for anybody. Come on, ready to go. Take I, I ain't any of these niggas at the so world. What, so what's comedy like in uh, Louisiana? Did you start there? Or talk to me about Louisiana comedy. I've been, I've done two or three shows in that state. I started off in an African club. Talk your shit. What does that mean? An African comedy club might be the funniest shit I've heard of. <laughs> what? <laughs> an African club, like Andale's nigga? It wasn't a comedy club. It was just a regular club. Like, oh, the African man, the owner name was Olu. Still. And Olu, right. It was a, how I got, I got the hosting job at that. Why like that name? <laughs> Olu, Olu. I got the gig, uh, another comedian, a nigga not, that set me up. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, come out to this man. We got a spot out here. Come out, come out to the spot. And uh, it's called Club Culture. Mm. And uh, I host it, man, so you can go and, you know, come up there and do your set. I was like, all right, cool. I, I had only been on stage once. So I go to the spot, <clears throat> and I see Olu. And Olu is a little short, little nappy head, African dude. that He don't, he don't give a shit about what type of entertainment is in the club. He just wants the people buying beer. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about it. No, I don't care. If you have a juggler in that bitch, you need to buy a beer. <laughs> if you yeah. bomb, bomb yeah. for an hour. Don't bomb time. and let them <laughs> buy <laughs> one. So he come up to me, and the show is like running like 20 minutes late. And he was like, where is the host? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. We need the host. We have to start the show now. We have to start the show now, and you are the host. I said, like, whoa, hold on, nigga. I got three minutes of material. The show <laughs> is an hour and a half. <laughs> what do you mean I'm the host? So he said, Don Dwight. So he go on stage. He was like, come into the stage. Oh a man God. who is here to uplift you. 
not make you laugh. Uplift. I'm here yes. to yes. uplift I'll you. He's here to uplift you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for delay. 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 So <laughs> it's, it's about five or six people in the club. Okay. And they spread out. This ain't no packed club. They spread out. And they're not five there for comedy. People. They are not there for comedy. They don't comedy. even know what's going to happen. They don't. They actually was listening to some reggae music mm. and chilling. Oh, you fucking chill, the Bible? So I, oh, I'm actually, God. I'm fucking up what they got going yeah, on. Yeah, they came to buy sandals. I'm a vibe fucker <laughs> upper. I'm a vibe fucker upper. I'm a vibe fucker upper. Vibe crasher. So <laughs> I went in there and I was like, okay, I need to find out. The lineup is I got one poet and my buddy who's a comedian and me. And the show is an hour and a half. Oh I got God. Three minutes of material. So I go up and say, hey man, how y'all doing? Mm-mm. One nigga is like this. <laughs> back to you. What is back to you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man? It's number <laughs> Africans in there. So I said, I, I'm new. So I'm new. Though. So I panic. <laughs> I panic. So I just I rush into the joke. I get to the first joke. Punchline, flatline, nothing, <laughs> dead. Who you talking to? <laughs> that roof cry. And I could hear motherfuckers fixing drinks. Like it, everything got <laughs> magnified. <laughs> the motherfucker was a, I could hear the drink like a commercial. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, damn, they pouring drinks loud in there. You hear the Coke bubbles bursting. You hear everything. I was like, Puck. Every that's comedian a, been that's there, a Heineken boy. that just you had a limitless pill. That is a <laughs> Heineken. <laughs> you can hear a fork in the plate. What is going on? Oh. <laughs> so. Look, I look up and I'm I'm at my three minutes. I ain't got nothing. <laughs> over it's with. over. Flat tire. I'm over. So I said, Can't go nowhere. Y'all ready for y'all next comedian? <laughs> <laughs> this man said, No, you need to do something. You need to do something. <laughs> I said, Oh shit. Set yourself on I fire. said, Okay, crowd work, crowd work. Crowd hey, my man, work. where you from? He doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Ain't no way you from. I ain't got nothing for that. I was like, all right, cool, all righty. So, everybody all right? Yes, we are okay. <laughs> you have to tell a joke. Uh, African you comedy club is go, a I'm go sure tell they're a joke. super critical. So, That's hilarious. I, 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 they are critical. They don't laugh either, bro. So they do not laugh. They don't laugh, bro. That's a horrible I said, I tell you what I'm going to do. It's it still not matter. I said, listen, here's the deal. I'm going to bring up a poet, and after the poet, I'm going to come back out and have stuff for you guys. It was like, okay, they talking to me. They talking okay, to me. Okay, okay, they, they engage you. <laughs> okay. okay. Conversation. So I bring up the poet, and he doing all his deep shit, right? And they, you know, they, they looking at him too. Fuck you too. <laughs> hey, ain't nobody going to win in here. Fuck your words. Hey, man, fuck your poetry. <laughs> Give a shit about that. Yeah, snaps. We ain't snapping at all. Ain't no snap. Hey, man, <laughs> get your ass off. We done with you too. Bring that other little nigga up that was doing his shit. Ah, <laughs> so they the, shit on the poet. So I'm like, bring oh, the man. Lay back. I shit said, the oh my. So the, I go up to the uh, to Olu, and Olu said, you are doing a great job of hosting, but you have to get the people to buy a beer. If they don't buy a beer, how can I survive? <laughs> how can I pay you? Now, it's so life and death for the, Africans, bro. He is dead serious. He, don't give, he told me I was doing a good job. I'm doing terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't want to do you Go and tell them that you are going to uplift him. And the more you uplift him, the more they want to buy a beer. <laughs> they do not be uplifted. They do not want to buy a beer. No one wants to buy a beer if you are not uplifted. So, oh I'm sorry, cool. So I go on stage, and I remember saying, I don't have nothing else. <laughs> I'm out of it. I don't have nothing. If my man gave up. I have nothing for y'all. <laughs> I actually looked at this dude in his face. I said, what would you like to talk about? Because <laughs> the shit I prepared is not working for you. You tell me. <laughs> ah, ah, that's crazy. Ah, ah, ah. I said, no, I'm serious. Tell me what you want to talk about, Mr. Africa. He called me Mr. Africa. I, yeah. Because I, I was frustrated. Yo. I can't win. I tried this shit. This, right. And first of all, I don't, I'm not even comfortable doing comedy at this point. I don't even want to do this shit. Mm-hmm. So I bring my buddy up on stage. I got a couple of giggles. My buddy, his name is Nutcracker. Nutcracker got <laughs> muscles. Certain <laughs> niggas with muscles, it just don't look right with comedy. It doesn't. You know, I know it sounds crazy, <laughs> but like, so, you, know, you know, if you got... If you, you, I slimmed myself down on purpose at one point because of that. So you don't look... I was so, getting different reactions. Because it's a distraction to the audience. Well, what it's a, to nobody say, wants I mean, to hear pain from a physically fit man. We don't want to hear it right. 
<laughs> right. That's real. We don't hear your struggles. That's why I don't talk about it. So, John <laughs> Nut- Nutcracker is you one of these in your face comedians. So fucked up. If he, that's why I don't say that about Wait a it. Remo said you drank slim tea. <laughs> What type of sponsor? No, we were gonna try to get the keys for twenty one. We're trying to get a box. Uh, Slim T waist training. Up my cardio. Sorry, go ahead, man. (laughs) (laughs) He said, "I'm going." Where the money reside? Where the money reside? That's what he said. (laughs) I got my first pedicure three weeks ago, bitch. Yes, I'm still on the African comedy. Nigga. That's a lot. Uh, uh, African dope. comedy club that's in Louisiana funny. is just so the beginning wh- of a crazy nigga, movie. That's a movie, bro. Because <laughs> they so st- they so stern. Nigga. They just be they, oh, they only laugh when he got angry, like how angry they be getting. You gotta <laughs> like once I said I don't give a shit. It is they was like oh he doesn't care. <laughs> Good, we were waiting for you we not to give it you. We don't care. We don't care. We don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> and I smile in your face. That's what made me laugh. That's a good. That's a great lesson. You know, we have wow. a lot of people that are uh, aspiring comedians or, or you know just new comedians, and that's a great lesson. Like, the crowd does not care about you when no. you first start out, especially. You know, you're gonna get to a point where people are coming to see you, <laughs> and then they care. But for uh, several years. When you go out there, they don't care about you, so don't put so much pressure on yourself caring about them. Mm. I feel like that's the lesson in that. That is a dream. Once, once I learned that, to stop caring about what the crowd thought and be like, all right, I'm funny. I know I'm funny. I make people laugh all the time. Let me just do what I feel is right. Because you can find yourself performing for the crowd and they're not going as well. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the culture comedy key. Culture yeah. comedy key. I bombed <laughs> five times in a row mm. in Fort Myers, Florida. Hold on, like, like the whole weekend? Like every time you come back or it was no. like happened? Oh. No, you know we do five shows. God damn. Oh, Sheesh. I ate it all five. Show? In a military town. With? Let me tell you. It's me and Bill Bellamy and Big E. If y'all don't know Big E, uh, Big E nigga. like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, bald head, light skinned nigga. Just always mean. <laughs> with no particular <laughs> reason. Albino orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga, oh yeah, I, albino I know gorilla. him. Yeah, yeah I, I this nigga eat uptown. meat. He, just eat meat with no sides. Like, just meat. Neanderthal. We was like, <laughs> <with> barbecuing <laughs> together in Texas. We was outside with just it. Just eat meat. He like, I'm a man's man. What you use your fucking utensils for? For steak. <laughs> Bite the steak. So that's weird. Why you why you using utensils? Exactly you. Why are you using utensils? Why oh my god! Him and Bill argue that shit. Or, bro, they argue shit. like they always so about he's the a comedian. Or that's no, he's Bill's right. role manager. Because I got a story They've been about him since high school. No, I since him. high school. Since so so he's he's one of these guys who he hates new comedians <laughs> and he loves to see them bomb. Yeah. He loves it when they bomb. He's like delay. I don't give a fuck what that bitch ass nigga Bill Bellamy says. You better roast this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> he was terrible. <laughs> Everybody heard it. Everybody heard it. <laughs> He's fucking terrible. That's it. Yeah. Everybody heard it. <laughs> Everybody heard it. Everybody. Oh my God. Hey, bro. Big E. <laughs> Is uh, motherfucker like he's probably he's the nicest, oh rudest yeah. nigga I know. <laughs> yeah. Like he 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 means well. Right. He just if you don't know him, you're like, oh, this nigga, me, he, he, he looking scary, he ain't smiling. So Big E, uh, Big E, we're in Atlanta, we're in Atlanta. Benny Pitts. Benny Hilarious. Oh Pitts. my god. Yeah. Every story. Every about story, him. bro. About <laughs> Benny Pitts. He got a reputation. He got a reputation for this shit. My nigga. I don't even know what you about to say. But it's Every about story, to be yeah, funny. It's going to be great. Go. Okay. Continue so, on. So I'm, <laughs> we, we had a, at a spot afterwards. That I don't know how Benny Pitts is linked up with us, but he's linked up with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. the funniest Let's part. see. I now see, that nigga will make a way. You hear me? <laughs> nobody nobody ever does. That but nigga just, is like planted. That's part of his shit, not being <laughs> late, but being late. The nigga's in oh, there. Yes. And he was Where like, I, I think some, he was like, he asked Bill. You know Bill? Bill, nice. Nice guy. Bill's Great very person. nice. We all drinking. It's like we had the after, we had an after. We finished the after party, so we all having breakfast someplace. He said, hey, Bill, man. Man, I'm a young comedian, man. I'm from Jersey. I'd love to go up. He was like. Okay, yeah. Big E, this bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Make the whole fucking country go up. <laughs> 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 right. Big E 
He is ready to get to the club and to these witnesses, by the way, too. Uh, he ain't got so time for this funny. other shit. <laughs> so that Sunday, he tells Benny, Benny, you can go up Sunday. Mm. Right? Benny hype. You know, I, you ever see the nigga, you like, nigga, that's your good outfit. <laughs> you wore that for something. Like, you've been sitting on that. <coughs> You've been pull sitting that, on that fit. Pull that fake Prezi out on y'all niggas. You, you, have, you seen that? You be like, everybody oh, this Everybody in this room got one, though. You, yeah, everybody got one. Like, we, you know everybody got one. Everybody got one. Everybody got one. Okay, Ronnie, that's one of them. You've been sitting on that. Yeah. Yeah, I got, yeah. Everybody got one. So everybody got one. He comes with it. I've been sitting. So I see him. I was like, oh, he got you. I've been sitting on the fit. I've been sitting on the fit. That's the fit. So I mean, that's your hoodie, D. Like, can I? Yeah. Can I, I, I been, I'm sitting on the fit. Just, sitting let, just let nigga. Know. I got a fit at the house. <laughs> Whenever you ready to start <laughs> bullshit, <laughs> I'm, sitting I'm, I'm sitting on the fit. I got <laughs> one. I got one in the tub. Yeah, I'm like, this is it. Don't, like, don't make me go live when I get to the house, bitch ass nigga. Ah uh, shit. Got some more socks. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even got to the belt game, nigga. You tripping? Ah, oh, nigga. Niggas, so bro. he got that fit on. Now, I don't know Benny, but you know, he seemed cool. I'm in the bathroom. Big E is introducing me. You know, all right, now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready <laughs> for the show? No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. You gonna, you gonna let that nigga talk that. about me, Ronnie? Yeah. I say, are you ready? <laughs> yeah. So I hear that. I hear this shit going on. I'm washing my hands in the bathroom. Benny sees me, he's like, hey man, you ready? <laughs> I'm like, am I ready? Yeah. Said, nigga, are you ready? Yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah, man. I said to myself, this nigga gonna bomb. Mm -hmm. I feel it in my spirit. You had a bomb vibe, but he I gave me. Yo, I'll nice <laughs> yeah. for a guest spot. You trying to get some photos in this bitch. It's like yo, when the nigga I'll show up with, the, with, with headband. With he headband, wristband. Yeah, they got on too much gear. Yeah. yeah. You wear it right. You got on too much gear. You got right. the whole shit on. Right. You got ankle braces. He got the whole outfit on. He got the Michael Jordan calves. He got the calf break. 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 He got on three trucks. This nigga got two full sleeves. This nigga got on three Fitbit. Mouthpieces and shit. He got three Fitbits on. He got count my steps and my jump. He got a Fitbit on his ankle. He hit the bathroom throwing up powder like LeBron. You ready? You ready? Oh, this nigga. I said, okay, cool. Coming to the stage, give it up for your host, my man, D. Ray. I go up. I'm doing like 20 minutes. I do 20 minutes. Open them up. I'm just, I'm in that audience all through that motherfucker. Ah, 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 ah. Y'all ready to keep this show rolling? Yeah, coming to the stage. This gentleman is new to Atlanta, so he's your very own. He, wasn't he belongs to you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he <laughs> is <laughs> yours <laughs> by way <laughs> of New Jersey. But now, uh, he's living in your city, so he's <laughs> like a grandson to y'all. Please help me welcome to the stage your own oh, God. Benny. Boom! Thank you. Benny Boom. Benny go out there. <laughs> Benny Boom is hilarious. What the fuck? I call, what's his name? Benny Boom. Yeah, I probably call him Benny Boom. I probably call him Benny Boom. 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 Benny and that nigga look like a mannequin, bro. That nigga clean. <laughs> he built like a man. And his energy was on point. Man, I said, man, if this nigga get off a couple of jokes, he could set this bitch on fire. Because his energy, I, I, I love where your heart is. Mm -hmm. you, know, you set up, a, you lay down some suppression fire that's oh right. unlike London unmatched. <laughs> right. So he was like, hey, man, y'all ready to get the show started? Wait a minute. Huh? Right. It's already started, brother. <laughs> this nigga, brother Boo. He did 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we, we that's, the that's the first mistake. That's the first mistake, right? Boo. Gets into the joke. Yeah, that's like, excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Brother Boo. Brother he Boo. throws that first punchline out. Mm, flat line. And nigga throwing jacks out here, boy. Boy, I heard a girl say, uh-uh. 
Listen, just a rant. Uh uh-uh. uh. Everybody knew it. Like, he was like, all right, all right, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, all right. Still look high? Yeah, let me get. Still look high. So he going through it, and Big E comes out. Oh, you know, shit. And he, and he come out right on a flat ass punchline. Flat. He was like, hey. Who the fuck? Who manages this? <laughs> and I, I remember it was Lotto, my buddy Lotto, Lotto, Street Lotto. Lotto had vouched for him, and he, Lotto was like, "Oh man, you know he's young. You know, fuck that man. You know what? I don't give a fuck. D- leave him up there. Let him sit in it. <laughs> <laughs> Let the young nigga sit in it. Fuck that. He gotta learn." And D-Lay, you better cook that young nigga. <laughs> he don't even know what's going on. His Bill face. comes in, he was like, hey, man, come on, man. Take it easy on the young guy, D-Lay. No, fuck that. You being a bitch, Bill. <laughs> being a fucking bitch. Fuck him up. Nigga, if he couldn't last at the peppermint, nigga, that shit wouldn't go down at the pe- And You better kill him. I was like, I got to kill him. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit wouldn't go so down at the Benny, peppermint. At the peppermint. <laughs> Benny looks up, and he was like, how my own time? I was like, keep going. You yeah, got it? You got sir. It. You got it, King? Run that thing. Golly. Run it. He was like, nah, man, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Uh, look, man, uh, I'm Benny Pitts. Right. So I walk back on stage, and I shake Benny's hand, and I said, I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> worry about it. So I walked uh. into the audience, and I said, what happened, y'all? <laughs> y'all, y'all looking at me like, uh, like y'all, y'all real teacher left. Y'all would have fucked up something, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> and y'all like, what happened? Everybody okay? Y'all looking? He was not bait clam. He was. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, oh, y'all not gonna act like that about y'all own. About y'all own. Come on now, that's y'all own. That man is from here. Oh and shit. Biddy went outside and and cried and threw up <laughs> at the same damn time. He cried real bucket Jodeci tears. He, he Jodeci cried. He did a. I am surprised. He has the most confidence of any. Bad oh my gosh, his confidence is through the roof. I've yeah. ever seen. His confidence is through the man, roof. Man, I'm at I'm at Uptown hosting. Uh, man, this is a while back, man. And Bill uh, was doing a weekend there, and uh, you know everybody here knows Terrell D. Merrow. I don't know if you do, um, D. Lay, but it's a comedian that is the most hot and cold comedian I've ever seen. Like sometimes you could watch him do a set and he is baked motherfucking clams. clams. Right. You hear me <laughs> going ape shit. And then there's other times you're like, whoa, what is happening? This is one of those, whoa, what is happening? Nights, right? <laughs> and so in Uptown, I host and then I sit in the back in the corner in the dark so other comedians don't come up to me to ask me to go up. People rarely come over there. So I'm sitting there in the dark. He's up there bombing and Big E is walking around. And I know he's looking for me, <laughs> but he can't see me. <laughs> he can't see me. And then he asked somebody, hey, we're the host. And they pointed to me. I said, fuck, somebody saw me. <laughs> and that nigga walked over there saying shit. He was like, is that your man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that your man? Is that your man? Is that your man? <laughs> I was like, yo, I don't even know why I had him up there, but I had an excuse for Big E when he asked me, was that my man? I gave, I gave him that excuse. Quickly, he was like, yeah, he needs to stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's Big E. That is crazy, man. Nigga, I bombed five times in a row in <sighs> front of Big E mm. in Fort Myers. Mm. And Big E, like, like if you if you really, if you if somebody we know bombing, we laughing hard as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I go up, and I don't know what's going on. It's one is, it's, I'm at the, um, it's a funny off the hook, off the hook comedy club. Never been there, but Captain heard, Hooks. I've heard. No, it's off the hook. Is it off the hook? I think it's called some with something a hook with in hook it. in it. Fishing <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's, some, it's something with a hook in it. It's some, that's the name of the club. Something with, some with a hook, hook in it. Man, Fort Myers, something with a hook in it. Pause. Something with a hook in it. Pause. Pause. Something with a hook in it. Cracker and shit. Pause, guys. And I go up, and this crowd, they just, they're different. They're, they're, they're affluent, they're rich, like everybody's rich. Yep. Still, it didn't matter, but I just never faced an all rich crowd before. Like everybody they rich. Nah, that matters shit. sometimes. None of this shit that I was saying work. And every time I throw out a punchline, Biggie know my set, he know what the punchlines are. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker, nothing. 
I hear, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this nigga Bobby. <laughs> I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, God. And people, he, people are turning around. Like, I'm looking like, is he with, is he with me? So oh, I finished my set, and, you know, they, I'm walking off the music. I still hear Biggie, oh, oh nigga, you the funniest nigga ever. Oh, <laughs> nigga, I've never seen you bomb. Oh, nigga, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, I gotta figure out what the fuck happened. He said, nigga, what the fuck happened, nigga? <laughs> nigga, I'm about to go get another Hennessy and a Heineken and watch this shit. I pray to God and I don't even believe in God <laughs> that you bomb again. <laughs> I go back on stage. <laughs> I go back on the stage. I'm doing the same shit. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. I'm by him, and every time, this, I, oh, 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 shit. And now he starts to move around the club, laughing. Yeah. And every line, there's supposed to be a punchline that's not going. So finally, this nigga's sitting over at the bar, right? And he's sitting there looking at me, and I can see him clear as day. And I was like, really, Big E? Really? He was like, one more, nigga. One more. I do another joke, and it don't go. Big E is stretched out at the bar. Oh shit, nigga. Five more minutes. Five more minutes, nigga. Oh my gosh. I'm mad as fuck. I'm mad. I get off the stage. I'm a hot. That nigga's bullying. I don't want to go to no fucking after party. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm going to my fucking room. Oh shit. Kill it. Uh, the next night, I go up, I do the same shit. I bombed again. When I say bomb, I'm talking about people like. <laughs> That's the most I got. <laughs> Bomb it. So Big E is having, every time I get ready to go do a set, he go get his Hennessy and Heineken. He goes, oh shit, I don't want to miss this shit. He's like, shit. the white folks are whooping your ass out here in Fort Myers. The white folks are whooping your ass. So oh, shit. finally the last show, Big E go sit at the bar and he get his Hennessy and his Heineken. And he was sitting there kickback, I said, before I even started. I said, nope, not going to happen tonight, Big E. Not at all. I'm going to give it one shot. I told them one joke. They chuckled. I said, okay, fuck it, Biggie. Oh, <laughs> they're killing this nigga again. Oh. I said, that's my road manager laughing at me. He's laughing because I bombed every show this week. <laughs> they laughed. I was like, oh, shit. This is the... That raw truth. That raw I truth. Every, and I said, I don't even know what rich people want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't even. <laughs> are y'all even comfortable on land? Y'all niggas like, look like y'all y'all wake up in yachts. Like, and Big E was like, oh, shit. Man, I was waiting on you to bomb one more time. I was just waiting on you. You my mans. But man, when you bomb. <laughs> It's beautiful, man. Oh my God, that nigga that is. is it. So funny. But he's hard on you, but you appreciate it. You mm. know what I mean? If he rock with you, he rock. He is Big hard. Biggie got me my special. Biggie, we were sitting there. We went to go get some barbecue. He said, "You don't know Tamra from Innovative." <laughs> Yo, Tamra, you don't you don't fucking run in Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, she was like, she said, like, "I'll call you Monday." And then they came and saw me open for uh, Tony Roberts. Mm. Got a special. They got a half hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we taped that half hour together. Yes, we did. That yeah. was. A, it was weird because they had everybody taping the same day. The same and it wasn't, day. We, we didn't necessarily. It wasn't our crowd. It was people waiting outside all day. It was yeah, hot. Mm. I went crowd. first. Delay mm. tape first. I went first. I, when they Damn. said because they first they called me, they was like, "You gonna go up second? I was like, "Damn, I really wanted to go first. Set this thing off. Mm. Got to the building. It was like, "Delay, you going first? I said, I got this fresh ass audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. God fresh. heard my prayer. Because some cats <laughs> yeah, me. was there on the sixth, seventh <laughs> show. Oof. We're doing 30 minute sets. Ooh. Same, same minutes, no same crowd audience. fill out. No crowd? Same oh, you get audience. the same crowd. I got the same crowd he had, and I got on the stage at 10 o'clock, like 9 mm. 59. Yeah, late, mm. late. They supposed went to be on at 8 o'clock. They went to a tent and had lunch and came back. They mm. made them be there yeah. by 6 to lock the door for it. They Ain't nothing worse than a crowd that has to be there. Oh, right. God. They locked the door for filming, oh, bro. That shit man. was like, yo. Nothing worse than that shit. Yeah, but, yo. 
Oh my god. Yeah, man, but that was a dope ass experience, bro. I appreciate everything. But uh Big E, man, I'm telling you, I just me and him have big nigga conversations. We be we be kicking it <laughs> on some big nigga shit. <laughs> right. So, I remember when I wasn't I wasn't eating meat. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga hated. He hated it. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> what you doing, man? It's <laughs> like, man, I'm eating a salad. Fucking salad. Fucking salad. <laughs> what else, d <laughs> That's all I need. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> this fucking healthy shit. You go die, nigga. <laughs> you go fucking die. You all go fucking die. <laughs> Fuck. Oh this God. fucking healthy <laughs> shit. Oh eat meat, nigga. nigga eat big broken. Real man eat meat. Oh, shit. Fucking bullshit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my yeah. son, you got I wish I would you ever hear Big E say he's vegan. You can slap me, son. <laughs> Throw this bomb. Slap me, yeah, son. Oh my That's god. This nigga. The I funniest part it. was watching him do this. And they had, you know, them new like Durango, that shit cut off at the light a little bit. And they cut mm-hmm. and I'm sitting in the front, so he going off on Bill back and we got a car full of just people stuffed in the car <laughs> going to a club. He's like, nigga. And then he got to wait for the car. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, you look stupid as hell with this goddamn car. With this still, he keeps the aggression. Why you keep the All aggression the so long? It's the role manager, man. You got to have it. Hey, man, I like that shit, bro. But him and Bill be about to get it shaking. Him, you ever see Bill Bellamy? I, he's like, I'll knock your big ass out. <laughs> well, they go edit it. Because like, Big E's voice is loud and it's, man. you know. Yeah. It, you, it just heard it travels. Where's the host? I this said, like said, I remember he was trying to clear the way. We were in Seattle, <clears throat> and Lorenz Tate was with us, and we were doing like a meet and greet in this little room. And everybody, it's Lorenz Tate. Everybody was like flocking in on it. Mm-hmm. So Biggie was like, "Ladies and gentlemen, stand to the side, move." And he was standing over people in motherfuckers under his arm. Oh. Move to the side. Bill Bellamy and the Riz will be taking pictures. But ladies and gentlemen, I need you to move. <laughs> this girl was like, uh uh-uh, uh, we are not cattle. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then he used to take oh, pictures for Bill while, and sell, you know, when they're selling DVDs. Yeah. Nigga, them pictures be so fucked up oh. because he don't care. <laughs> he don't care if they straight. He don't give a fuck about none of that. He taking pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to take a picture with Bill Bellamy. You, he's only doing it with people who are purchasing DVDs. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh. My head cut off. He's like, next. <laughs> <laughs> if your head cut off, your head fucking cut off. Buy another DVD and come get another picture. <laughs> 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 bro, you got a whole half hour on goddamn Big E. Ooh, Big E and Tommy Davidson. It's That's over. Hilarious, oh, man. What was your first uh, viral video? Uh, things past to say. What? It was a video. I was just I was just doing different cuts of me praying and di- saying different things that you had passed to say. I'm in a tree. I'm, uh, you know, I'm under a car. I'm mm. doing all kind of... And it's just different <laughs> shit. I didn't even know what it was. You said I'm under a car. Yeah, I'm under a car. I'm in a tree eating uh, 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 oranges and shit. Uh, I didn't know. My notifications started going off on Twitter a lot. And that's when, if, you know, if the world started posting some shit on you, you know, you get a lot of burn from that. Mm-hmm. So I did that. But I didn't <clears throat> I didn't understand social media at that time. Gotcha. And then uh, I did a... Um, the barber, the artiste. I used to do these artiste videos with the barber, the over the top barber, mm-hmm. standing up on the lap, cutting yeah. hair, or laid out on this, all kind. So I didn't know about tagging videos. Like, you know, this is for at, at its delay. I didn't know. Yeah. So people was taking a video and it was, you're putting they, you know, putting they handle it. I didn't understand. I was like, what? So King Kiron was like, hey, nigga, you gotta tag your shit. Mm-hmm. You, gotta, you gotta put your shit on there so people know it's yours. So all those, because, I, what was that, uh, 15 Seconds of Funny? It used to be a, a site out of Atlanta, 15 Seconds of Funny. Mm. And they were posting a lot of funny videos, and they posted it. But that viral game, it, uh, I realized, like, it's a tool. If, you, if you're able to utilize it right, it's, a, it's definitely a tool. Mm-hmm. Uh, as, as, a, as, a, as opposed to how it was years back when it was just a road. Right. You know what I mean? Now it's like, it's cast like, I know I'm like, I'm going on a road four times this year. And, I'm, and that's it. Everything else is going to be social media or viral or streaming videos mm-hmm. or streaming mm-hmm. shows. 
Yeah, man. Got to do it. 2021, man. That, 2021. that new push. They back They back open, even though they supposed to be closed. Right. Fuck yeah. it. Run it up. <laughs> Run it up. Oh, I see everybody at a comedy club every weekend. I'm like, yeah, they back sure. over. Texas. The big dogs is coming back. That's what's making it like. Yeah. That's why niggas got to get their socials up because it's like the big dogs is in the spaces where we was right. running around crazy. So they're like, eh, son, we got, uh, we got Mike Epps again. All right. We got Earthquake this weekend. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. We, got, we got TK. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? So, no doubt. But like, I think building your own audience is something you guys do. To, you, you have mastered it. Uh, with the you, you and the Dime podcast, all deaf, and um, just you doing like the tour shit made it like cool for older niggas. It's like fuck this shit, bro. I need to shoot some shit, like, cause you know it was like a divide in the beginning. Like yeah. we was like we don't fuck with them niggas. I was like I was I thought about that for like thirty seconds. Like but why are we tripping? Right. Did they know the audience is that. Eh, that's, I how to I, learn. that's how I felt. I was like I never felt like. <clears throat> I was on the other side of the social media people. I was like, I want to learn that shit. Let me see what y'all got cooking over there. I got the stand-up thing. Let me figure out what this lane is. And I remember hearing people like, man, I don't fuck with that social media, nigga. I'm real on the stage, nigga. Come see me in in person. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, now what's your avenue? Right. You know what I mean? They they took the stage away. Now what? And it's it's been a trying time, man, trying to do comedy in front of a computer. Uh, <clears throat> yes, sir. It's just different. You know what I mean? You you make it off, but it's just different. When you've yeah. been doing stand up for years on the stage, it's with a whole real different audience, muscle, man. You know, it's different. And for your income to cut by like seventy percent, cut the shit out you your know income. What I'm saying? Yeah, like, nigga. Yeah, all in like two. I days. got only fans, and I'm eating sandwiches. Hey, on this big nipple one shit. Titty ah. One titty big out. One titty out. Big nipple <laughs> shit. Big nipple shit. B and E, my boy B and E. <laughs> Nigga on that bitch eating his biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> the bless his fuck ski bass on him. Bless his fuck ski bass. <laughs> hey, that shit would go crazy, Ronnie. <laughs> but I got sons, though. No talking. You ain't doing uh, no got, talking. Eating biscuits with you a ski mask and no bam, shirt Bam, right there. It's Bruh. a dude that looks exactly like me doing the same shit somewhere. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> Nigga, that's yeah. funny as hell. Several that. niggas doing that Man, shit. them dudes are Ooh, aggressive, shit. too. Dude. Oh, Boy. Man. And then your, uh, I know that the other uh, viral video, it may, be, it may have been, I think it may have been the first time I connected like you with social media like that was when you was talking about your, your son. It's like, look at him. Oh. Came from my balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, That's actually, they uh, licensed that from me uh, over ridiculousness. No shit. Yeah. That wow. was, me and my son, that wasn't like, that wasn't playing. Like my son always, you know, in my phone and playing around. Mm-hmm. And just so happened that jazz music was just playing in the background. I had jazz, I was having some Think jazz. I had thing. a vibe already. Mm-hmm. So we just chilling. I come from behind the curtain. I see him doing his thing. And I just said what I said. And I was like, let me see that. I said, I just post it. Yeah. I, we didn't, I didn't edit it. And I just, I'm going to post it. The next day, I get a call from my boy B. Watts. B. Watts is like, hey, man, that video viral, you and JoJo. I said, what video? That, that thing about your balls. <laughs> <laughs> that the thing balls about video. your balls. The balls video? Really? Like the balls video? I look, it was <laughs> on the shade room. Mm. I was like, oh shit. Wow, this is crazy. Not even, I'm not even trying. That ain't even, you know, that's, I, I usually sit down and try to really master and edit it. Yeah. It's the shit that you just rawly put out. Just Every time. That be the shit that go. Yeah, you right. can some shit that you strategically place, but it's that unthought of, Unplanned, off the top shit that people be like, oh. If I could ever catch some of the shit Clark says, bro, he, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he says some crazy shit to me, bro. How old is he? He's five. Uh. He said, Daddy, chill, dog. I said, Nick, who the fuck is you talking to? Who <laughs> 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 you talking to, nigga? Like, <laughs> Rip that little nigga shirt. Daddy, chill, dog. <laughs> chill, dog. He like Young Dylan. He want to be like Young Dylan on Nickelodeon. I said, Young Dylan, get you fucked up. Young yeah. Dylan, get your young ass with in his dog. <laughs> <laughs> chill, dog. Chill, that shit is funny dog. as hell. Yeah, you got to deal with yourself, I'm sure. Boy, yeah, this nigga, man. So how is that, like, you, father to father, you know, you got you got any advice for my, I got little boys. My son just turned seven yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Campbell yeah. just turned seven. Happy birthday, oh, young Cam. Yeah, Happy man. birthday, Cam. Yeah. I just had the sex talk with my boys. Wow. Wow. How old are they? 13 and 14. Ooh. February 12th, February 14th. They and the they be getting them cuts. Monday. Boy, they be getting them hair cuts, boy. Yeah, I told them. I was like, hey, man, listen. Because <laughs> they, they mama, you know, me and, me and their mom, we're best friends. We're cool. It ain't got to be that 
friction that people think when you have a divorce. It ain't like that. Word. So we have she a great relationship. Uh, yeah, she got a boyfriend. Yeah, okay. she got a boyfriend. I was like, she got some, uh, that helps. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want you happy. Don't be fucking oh, miserable. I want you whatever. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. So uh, she uh, she said you gotta you need to talk to your sons. You know, I said okay. She said no. Like you gotta talk to them right away. <laughs> they found I think that I heard, tablet. Yeah, I think yeah. I heard JoJo listening to porn. Yes, oh, you did. did. For sure you did. Street, I think. I said, oh, oh, this okay. Apple Watch. Yeah, he was more Ooh, than listening okay. to she it. She said, girl on girl. <laughs> Ooh, girl yes, on sir. girl. Okay. Hey. Okay. All she right. got good ears, actually, to hear yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's mommy. <laughs> that's two bitches. Right? That's two that's two bitches. mommy. That's mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I know two bitches when I hit two bitches. I know two bitches when I hit two bitches. <laughs> I know what scissoring sound like. <laughs> I know <laughs> what scissoring sound like. Is a t-shirt and episodes. Woo! T-shirt and episodes. So I told drink, my bitches drink. I told my boys, I said, look, bro, y'all different. Y'all different from most kids because, you know, you know, people know y'all. So it's going to be a lot coming at y'all. Yes, sir. Here's the deal. Raw sex is amazing. That's off the rip. Hey, first of all, raw sex, raw sex bait clam. is a ma it's <laughs> bait clam. It's clams. And I'm allergic to clams, clams, and I know what you're talking clams. about. Clams. Bait clams. <laughs> and they was like, you know, they didn't they all they know how I talk, so they know, ooh, daddy. No. It's raw sex. It was like, so Jojo was like, what do you mean? I said, you're gonna use a condom. You have to use a condom. But I'm just letting you know. That raw sex <laughs> is amazing. It really is. So I said, you guys familiar with condoms? He was like, yeah. I said, now, have y'all tried to try one on yet? He was like, what do you mean? I said, when I was your age, I always wanted to try one on to see if I could fit it. So have y'all tried one on yet? He was like, no. I was like, well, you got to try them on at some point. So here, y'all take these and go in the bathroom with it. And he was like, mm. I said, yeah, those are magnums. Did you say take these? It was a magnums. <laughs> Two. You go in the bathroom, you go in the bathroom. And I'm sitting there. <laughs> two rubbers, two magnets. Niggas who be fucking don't give away two rubbers. Niggas <laughs> yeah. said, they ain't balling, they gave out two rubbers. Two rubbers. Two rubbers. <laughs> he balling. He balling. How's that balling? He's getting the guap. He's balling. He gave out two rubbers. Niggas split a box. Right, that's, what <laughs> that's, that's in a movie somewhere. <laughs> so, he just got some pussy. Yeah, he gave man. Gave out the lad too. I tr they tried them on, <laughs> and it came out. And I said, so, how are we doing? And it was like, uh, JoJo said, uh, I, don't, I don't know if mine is, I said, yours don't fit. <laughs> 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 you got too much talking. You yours don't fit. And I said, what about you, Caleb? Caleb said, well, not, not really either. I said, don't worry. I had the same problem <laughs> when I first tried one on. It wasn't a magnum, mm -hmm. but <laughs> <laughs> it lets you know that you got room to grow. Mm -hmm. And that one day you're going to fill this thing up. So you have to, <laughs> <laughs> you're going to fill it up one day. You got to have that talk, though, don't you? Gotta have that hey, bro, you got to tell him. Because listen, like, if so you decide right. to try, try to come on, yeah, I never not, had one it. One of them not going to fill it up. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm that nigga going to be 35 years old. He's going to be fucked up. You fucking liar, dad. He's going to be 35 years old. Call you. Hey, man, I'm still waiting, bro. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> take some sea moss. Take uh, some sea moss. I'm afraid I'm meditating. I can't feel I'm it. Like I'm meditating. Yeah, man. But I mean, you got to be honest with them because just think about it. If the first time when you try one on and nobody gave you any instructions, you'd be a little confused. Like, ah, yeah, damn. I my balls in that motherfucking ass. You put your balls in the <laughs> it down. You's a wild nigga. <laughs> this shit is like a foot. This nigga the laundry basket is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like a, oh, a baby shoe down there, boy. A baby shoe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 he put his balls in the condom, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, why would you do that? <laughs> Your balls don't go in them condoms? Ah, <laughs> yeah, shit. Man. I'm, I'm sure she watched. Figure you didn't want them the to touch me. <laughs> <and> shit. <laughs> she definitely heard. The like porn. You, you, I mean, like what, what number did you put your 
volume on the TV when you was watching porn mm, as a at kid. At that age, 14, 15. I was like, you can't go past three. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. got to be close to the TV. You, yeah, you got to, if you want to yeah. hear some shit, right. you got to imagine. We watched the Squiggly Lion Channel 99. Come on, Come man. on, Spice. See, Ariel is over. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would watch Cinemax, and I thought, yeah. th- like, like to see a titty in the open on a TV. Open like, air titty man. was a nice thing, wasn't it? I was like, oh, oh my God. You, you try to kiss the TV. I'm about to hunch internet. something. <laughs> How old were you when like internet first came with like that? I know you remember dial up. All of us remember dial up. Do yeah. you remember looking up your first piece of porn on the internet and how long that shit took? It took a long Bro. time to come. I'm that motherfucker like buffered. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ooh, it was some buffering going on in that bitch. <laughs> bitch well, did you feel like your life was on the line? Because I was in my mom. Hurry up because somebody can walk in. <laughs> this is mom, dangerous. Your life is on the line. <laughs> bomb squad. Like, bro, my mom on. came home, nigga. The garage door went up. I was like, okay, I got three minutes to get uh, shut this operation down, nigga. So I tried to click minutes? off, nigga. Yeah. I tried to click off, oh, then the ads started coming. Then the ads started coming. Then the ads started coming. Then the ads kept going. Nigga, I took the unplugged the motherfucker, and it still got them ass keep coming up. Oh. Nigga, she walked in. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yeah, Roderick. <laughs> 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 he went down. <laughs> he ran. He ran. He ran. He ran. He ran. You ran. Hey man, I, I went to the bathroom. That nigga ran. He ran. <laughs> Waist <laughs> with his pants around his ankles. He ran. <laughs> He ran. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He fucking ran. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Yeah. He ran and left yeah. the porn. I had to have this. You left the porn on. Oh. Left the porn on, bro. He unplugged the, the monitor. Right, you it, 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 throw that bitch out the window. It was it was the house computer, like nah, you know what I'm saying. That's what back in the day. You go fuck your gateway up now, your mama. Bro, it was uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> it was a Packard Bell. I never had a house computer, so I'm glad I would have definitely got it. Probably caught up just like y'all niggas. Viruses. Let me tell you something. Oh, yeah, them bro. desktops catch quick, boy. Right. Ooh, yeah. ooh. Man, let me, let me. I don't. I had a discussion with a, a a couple of gentlemen the other day. Most of you guys have ladies, or no? I know you've married. It's the married side. Married. It's the single yeah. side. Married, single. married as fuck, single as fuck. Do y'all know that it's women yes. out there that are holding vagina hostage? <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Man. In relationships, with her laugh in the yeah, back evil ass laugh in the back. Evil laugh. La- <laughs> I might have those people. I sat I, 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 for I, I, 19 months. I, 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 he thought he was going to get the nookie. I, 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 Rejuvenated. I, 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 My soul is pure now. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I glow. I started three That's businesses. I started four businesses <laughs> this week. Yeah. They be doing Boy. better shit when they stop fucking. Oh, they, stop fucking. They, get, they start doing better when, when they, they stop fucking. fucking they, get too they do. Deep. They get focused. Did you hear me, boy? Man, you can can not <laughs> hold hostage vagina in a relationship. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with I that. I mean, you could do it. You could yeah, try you it. Shouldn't. It's going to backfire shouldn't. on you. It's going to backfire on you. It's going to backfire on you. It can't. I'm cheating. Listen. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I gotta leave he knows you himself, alone. Bro. Know yourself. <laughs> like a drink skit. Know yourself. Bitch, I'm cheating. Know yourself. Know yourself. Know yourself. Cheating. I'm cheating. for your head top. More two okay, for your head top. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. More the culture records. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah, man. We drop it because I'm cheating. It can happen. Hey, man, you know man. how we do, man. The Kwanzaa song going crazy, by the way. I don't yes, know if you indeed. heard the Kwanzaa song. Uh uh-uh. uh. Seven oh, days of Kwanzaa. Oh, man. You ain't heard Seven Bro, Days gotta of Kwanzaa? Gotta send it to him, man. Gotta put you on. I thought we was gonna do it live. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it, but. Nah, that's funny. That's the way. You gotta send it to him so he can see, get the whole. Because they would appreciate it because they love to go, like, kind of off, you know, kilter, off, yes. off screen. So you gotta see the whole production. Yeah, man. Yes, Holy indeed. shit, man. But shit, I'm glad you came, man. I can't. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, what you doing here? Um. I came to film some shit. Okay. I came to uh, do more than culture. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This good hoodie. Thank you, yeah, man. Yeah, that's that's a expensive. very nice hoodie. Yeah, I put this out for y'all. You put yeah, this expensive shit out, man. I, I appreciate good. you. Bro. I like rocking with y'all brothers, man. Oh, it's always really, a good time. It feel like a family reunion when I come up in this. Come on, man. It's like Clubhouse in real life. Yeah. We it's made like you a moderator. Clubhouse we made green. you a moderator. We made you a moderator. Take a moderator. green emoji with you. Man, right. Give me my yeah, green yeah. emoji. I'm going to tell you something. If a nigga get on Clubhouse and immediately start talking about Tommy Davidson, that shit would be hilarious. Oh, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> this is the rule hey, first for the- of all, man, look. 
I ain't taking this shit in 2021. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> like, <laughs> Please do the Tommy Davidson forgot my name five times rule and watch how many comedians. <laughs> Bruh, I wonder how many people have experienced that. Every either. person probably, oh, his several. wife probably goes through that. <laughs> his wife. <laughs> What's your name? Tommy, knock it off, you son of a bitch. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. Your sex cooked a big <laughs> class. class. <laughs> you were hot tonight. Can't wait to fire. fuck you again. Is somebody going to be in the <laughs> comments like, y'all not going to do Oscar Proud? <laughs> like, you know how hard Oscar they go. Oscar Proud. You know how hard them uh, niggas go for a so Proud quick family? Sto- yeah. Quick story about that. And I don't even know if Rod Rose is here. But that's the brother with the jean jacket. The brother with the jean jacket. Brother with the jean jacket. That's the name of his album coming out. He made a jean jacket play, man. He's got a a jean jacket play. A jean jacket (laughs) play for me, man. (laughs) 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 There was only some shit a nigga with a jean jacket could do for somebody. So (laughs) Tommy Davidson. (laughs) Tommy Davidson and Martin Lawrence had uh, got to see each other like on the road or something. I was back when Martin was out and they were talking. And he was like, man, we should do a reboot of Barnell Hill. Him doing, uh, Martin gets him uh, another talk show to really like get him back on his feet, but Varnell still stuck in the 90s. Mm. So they did all that together and got to um, hit me up and had me write a pilot. Oh, so sure. I wrote That's a pilot fun. for Tommy Davidson and That's Martin Varnell Hill reboot. Called and talked to Tommy Davidson mm. on the phone, long time. He's like, man, the script. <laughs> Cook <laughs> like <laughs> bake <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. <laughs> hey, is it, is it Tyler, is it? Look, man. Tyler, is it? Look, man. Bake clams. You pass forward <laughs> to Wildin' Out. He's on there. Yeah, he's on there. I'm like, yo, man. Hey, listen, like, for real, for real. Like, I looked at myself, I looked at Tommy Davidson to what I wanted to kind of do in comedy because I had a, kind of like a singing voice and a little impress, pers- right. impersonation, I guess you would say. And that's what I was doing. I don't do that shit no more, but that's what I, I, I kind of was doing. So mm-hmm. I was like, man, damn, Tommy Davidson. I wrote some shit for him. He went wilding out. I'm writing the jokes for wilding out. I got to go talk to him. He ain't, you know, hey, man. So yeah, talking to him, doing the jokes and shit. I'm like, yeah, you know, <laughs> I wrote that Barnell Hill. What you, man. What's your name? What's man? your name? <laughs> hey, man. Shit! So Chronicles, Tyler, Tyler Chronicles? I know you. <laughs> We've worked together. Tommy, Toddy, Ty, Tyler! <laughs> That's your name, bro. You wrote the script <laughs> about the Vornell reboot with Martin. <laughs> bro, I read that. My manager gave it to me, he gave it to the agent. My lawyer read over, she said it's perfect. That script. <laughs> Cook. <laughs> Like big clams, bro. <laughs> you, Tyler, are on fire, bro. You're on fire. <laughs> hey, hey. Can't wait nothing but a G thing, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it up. Hook it up. Could you, yeah. could you, could oh, shit. Uh, Do you remember coming on More Than Culture, Varnell? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> bro. You guys want me on More Than Bro. <sighs> bro. <laughs> I love More Than Culture. <laughs> I love More Than Culture. You know, I watched this show about a year ago, and I saw it, and I said to myself, I said, wow, someone's got to book me for that show. <laughs> <laughs> that show cooked like baked clams. Bro, we've got to have it. Bro, uh, listen, yeah. not to overstep my boundaries, bro. Bro, you've got to give me a hoodie. <laughs> I mean, bro, come on. Not to overstep my boundaries. It's Tommy and Morton Culture. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Hook that thing up, bro. Hook it up. Shut boing, boing. Yeah, bro. Did you miss me? Bro. Yeah. We're running oh, things. Cream <laughs> boy. Now I'm running things in some of the. F- I can't oh. breathe. Oh, when my I hear that God. Shit. I'm running things. Cream things. Cream corn. Running things. Man. Nigga, cream corn, corn is one of the cream best. Corn. No, when he said, when he uh, makes the order. Oh man, <laughs> he ordered all. Bitch, do you see like us? When oh. <laughs> 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 he said that shit, I be out. Oh, that's my favorite shit in the world. Bitch, do you see us? Running things, bitch, do you see us in that? No, uh, when that nigga said, uh, he didn't say that. <laughs> when he was Vardell Hill and they was in, the nigga said something. He said, "You can take the children." That nigga said, "I don't do it for me." Do it for the kids. <laughs> you can take the children. 
bounced him on the knee. <laughs> Bounce him on the knee and sing a melody. <laughs> the Varnell man. <laughs> yeah, man. Ooh, I got to go. Yes, Ooh. I'm going to die. Man, Very gentlemen. People you just don't want to get off drugs because they good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selfish oh, like that. Oh, you don't want him to get off drugs. Oh, <laughs> He's oh, amazing. Oh, he shit. probably will punch me in the face when he meets. So you set that shit. <laughs> no, that mean, no, no, first of all, you got to recognize it first. So. Yeah. I know you. No, they'll remember you say something bad. They'll be like, so. Oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. right, right. No, I remember I saw Tank after he said that. <laughs> He said, suck, suck two dicks thing, right. and I did a come get this nigga video on him. Oh, God. And <laughs> the video, I remember uh, Naeem hit me up. He said, man, Tank mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> Cut two, I'm in Atlanta. I'm doing, I think, I don't know where I, what I was doing, but I, was, I went to the radio station. I go to the radio station. It's me and my boy Lotto. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to go in. Out walks Tank. And six large niggas. Oh God. Six very large niggas. So I look and I see <laughs> other tanks. Taking the truck. Taking the truck. <laughs> <Tank in the laughs> <truck. laughs> six other niggas that agree with two dicks. Taking <laughs> <laughs> the, the, tank the six dicks. <laughs> Taking the six dicks. Taking the six dicks. <laughs> Tank and the oh six dicks. Them niggas formed in the form of a cross when they saw you. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what did he say? He walked up. There. I just did the video, and that video was banging too. Hot like it was hot. hot, so I know he's seen it. And I even said he mad at you. I don't give a fuck. Funny, yeah. So I see him, and he walk. He noticed me. And he walk up. And he was like. What's up, boy? I see you. I said, I see you too. <laughs> and I see, see you and the six dicks. I see you. I see the I whole. See you and this mighty duck V formation of penises. Mighty duck. Penis eye. Penis eye. Mighty duck. Penis eye. 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 The flying D. <laughs> flying D. Quack, quack. <laughs> formation dick ass. Good niggas. He has dubbed them Tank crack, and crack, the Six Dicks. Crack, crack, <laughs> and Tank do comedy now, and that nigga will, he want to smoke, I'm sure. Oh, I shit. will cook the shit out this well-shaped nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm tripping he off gonna look Tank. Like, it's going to look like he's bullying me. So the only bad. thing about that, that that statement, I mean, obviously it was gay, but the other thing about it was, <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember before that, the nigga was doing a show for a, a gay a gay pride joint. So it was all niggas in the crowd. Like it, that went viral too. Okay. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Get your money. The yeah. only thing was, bro, when he, he took his shirt off, number two. That was in the contract. Number three, yeah, it was. You number three. Yeah, off. but for a nigga to tell fuck? you take your shirt off, that's, and that's you in the it. contract. That's you got to. But, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I was going to take it off, but it's in the contract. It's in the oh, contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nigga said, it's gayer a, to be in the contract. I have a nipple claw. <laughs> a nipple claw. <laughs> I got a nipple ah, claw. But my look, my nigga, the picture that went nipple. viral is the nigga singing on stage with his shirt off, but it's one nigga. <laughs> Standing in the crowd, in the middle of the crowd, on my mama with his knee to his ear and his leg straight, straight, up, straight up in there, straight up in there, in the middle. Then sitting, so the, the cameraman just got like that nigga and then <laughs> straight leg. Just to let you, they they booked him to, to take that picture. Ah, I'm like, why is he in the middle, shot, bro? Nigga. And it was packed, so he had to tell somebody move over so I can get <laughs> he my leg. Up. Like, Get the no, fucking get shot. The, hey. the shot. He was like, Queen. Get the fucking oh, queen. shot. And the like kicker this. was, it the was a kicker. <laughs> the kicker. <laughs> the kicker. It was a kicker. It was a team, Jordan. <laughs> it was a oh. <laughs> In the air, niggas was roasting the team Jordan. It was the team Jordan. <laughs> up I'm in saying the, the nigga that had his leg up in the was air the head team had Jordan. Team Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> nigga the bar. <laughs> niggas was roasting everything about that so shit. So the gay bro. dude barred and stood <laughs> free his shoes. <laughs> Those are his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> they probably some. Oh man, man. Yes. Shoes. that's hilarious. Yeah, that'll do me, man. Nigga. Whew. Thank you, brother. Appreciate time, you pulling bro. up, man. Yeah, man. Thank y'all for having me. It was brothers. a pleasure, Thank man. man. Enjoyed yeah, you. Man. Always enjoyed your tour, man. We always kick it hard and 
Fucking on the road. Hopefully we get back on the road with this shit. It's happening, yeah, man. man. Ain't no more hopefully. Yeah, man, yeah. We're gonna, we gonna do something, man. We're yeah, gonna lock it. We gotta do the dime in morning outside. culture. We, Absolutely. We coming. We, we gonna do it. morning. We gonna pull up in I'm Houston. Oh, we gonna pull up. I am never doing that podcast. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> no, they yeah, got a I different air. Water, your water yeah, and shit. Yeah, let me tell you something. We have water. We got weed sponsors. Did you miss me podcast? Love all of y'all to death, but let me tell you why I'm not gonna be. On that guy. On that podcast. podcast. <laughs> yeah, it was torture. I was that like, shit was crazy. Is that the show where they don't <laughs> let me speak? He <laughs> was talking to us. Hey, y'all know Ronnie's going ape right. shit that he can't talk. Y'all know oh, Ronnie yeah. can't say no words. No, you know Ronnie is hot. I don't like He was it. hot too. <laughs> this, nigga about, <laughs> this nigga about to flip the whole couch over. <laughs> I'm thinking this shit on camera like this. <laughs> we get anxiety on 11. This nigga's, uh, yeah. It's, uh, make sure y'all go fuck with it. Did you, did you miss me, podcast? Yes, for sure. My Dying wax feel blunt. We was so Ooh, accustomed. Oh, oh, we shit. was on so much strong weed. I feel. Don't do another show. Shout out to <laughs> you. Uh, uh, happy 21, God yeah, damn it. Man. Yeah, welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God is good. We made it. Indeed. We did. Time for yes, another. Uh, yes, indeed. Most yes, of bad. Yes, everybody. Guy be like, run it back, Turbo. Oh, nigga, shout out to Shabadoo. Rest in peace, Shabadoo. Yeah, Rest for sure, man. Rest in peace, MF Doom, man. Yeah, facts. Yeah, he passed like yeah, on New passed. Year's Day. No, he passed in October. And they oh, just it happened a long time ago? It. Yeah, they had just announced it that day, but he, it happened October 31st. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, they shit. put it on his page, yeah. I, his, know his, that uh, who, I think his wife. Was it COVID? Was I don't know what it was. It was something. Man. I heard Mike Epps' mom's passed from COVID, man. Oh, oh man. man. Yeah, shit's fucking crazy. Yeah, this shit's stupid, bro. Yep, sorry, come off for the melancholy intro. Oh no, nah. it is so good, man. I've had worse. That <laughs> <laughs> I've had worse. I've been brought up to worse. Um, yeah. So we like to end the shows with a segment we call "Secret Genius Life Coach," where I get the people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get to the next episode. I am come on secret genius, and the words of the week are this: always. Follow your gut unless you full of shit. <laughs> In that case, <laughs> your gut is not qualified to lead nobody. Mm -hmm. Recognize when your instincts <laughs> get you in fucked up situations mm -hmm. and do the opposite of that. <laughs> do the opposite of that. Some of y'all niggas be doing some stupid shit, man. And I just want y'all to do better. Hey, yo. <laughs> they need to play that on the loudspeaker in prison. Yeah, <laughs> so do better. Some of y'all be doing some stupid shit. Like going, <laughs> follow, yeah. like going yeah, live man. from jail. <laughs> follow your instinct. Bro, and do nigga will have a whole <laughs> nigga die. Oh, always follow your gut, man, unless you full unless of shit. Full of shit. Wow. Mm. And that's all I got. Right on, man. Start a new year off right. That's right. Man. Yeah, man, that was dope, man. Roger that. More than culture is the brand. This is the podcast. Come on, the secret and the show. show. More than culture is the brand. <laughs> this is the More Than Culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan, special guest, Delay. Yes, we out. Yeah.